Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna continue working on part 18 of this house build. Let's get started. So in the previous video, we were able to finish this. We created the sheets and we're ready to use uh, Twin Motion now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save and you wanna make sure that you're in fine. Uh, save it again and open your twin motion so I'm gonna open my twin motion usually what I do is I just see it in twin motion it will uh, open the latest uh, twin motion that I have and we're gonna export the data smith file so I'm just checking to synchronize it Hopefully it rec uh, recognized the, the most current that I have, which is 2024.1. So that's correct. Um, and then we go here afterwards. So while waiting, we could export to Datasmith. It will make our life easier because it uh, it's the easy, easiest way to um, add in our uh, Revit to Twinmotion. So you can put any uh, name you want. I'm just going to put house, all caps, and then save it. So once it's saved, we just need to wait for twin motion. And we're done with this. Uh, let's delete this first before we import our model. So here, just click here click open and then let's go to the location of our file I'm gonna put it right here and then click open and then import so okay and then okay so as you can see we have our modeled set up like that uh, we don't this is flashing because it's over or it's under it's overlapping uh, the first floor right here so I'm just going to pull it down and we're good um, let's go to file and then make sure that we're signing to e epic so that we could use uh, the H HRDI mega scan all of this sketch map um, also we need to save as so let's save as to the file location and then here we could put in the name house and then save it so now that's done we could set up so go to ambience camera and the most important here is to turn on the parallelism so as you can see now it's uh, much better because it's parallel um, it's not um, putting in angles so if you have this unchecked you can see it's it's gonna be harder for us to make it parallel so this is important um, and then after that the environment HDRI we need to enable it and then we're going to select a backdrop so for now um, we're going to use one of the backgrounds here, outdoor. Um, we could select this one if we want. Um, before that, let's go to our background. So here, I'm going to use this one, Sunset Fair. Um, I want to change it with stone pine and just wait for it to load and then once it's load uh, we could go right here and change the way this one is so in terms of location we can change that 
um, the size, the height offset is important to pull it down a bit. The rotation, it's right here. Um, I'm going to use T Carden instead. Because this one is too much in terms of how this one looks. So either Sunset Fairway of or T Carden. I'm gonna use T Carden. It's fall anyway, so in North America, so it's the right one to use. And then now we could change the size. So in terms of size, we don't want it to, to be looking too much like that. So just enough for this background right here. And then afterwards, let's go and change the materials. So I'm gonna select this one, clear glass, and then I want to change the opacity and then the color is gray, something like that. So that's perfect right there. And then, like I said here, the material that we're gonna use is white. So satin, pink, white, and then on the rest. But here, I'm gonna use matte paint but I'm going to darken it so as you can see at least it's visible on the way we design this part so it's looking really good um, and then materials for metal um, we can select this big material and then I know this is the material for this. Aluminum. I want it to be black. And then you want to make sure that metalness is increased. And then we could use that on multiple materials, especially on this one. So it's gonna be all white, but except for this part. And then here we need a wood material. And we need something that is like this. Or the olive. And then 90. and then scale so that's good there and then we need to change this one and then here neon so all of this materials should be lighting up so I'm gonna use neon for that. There we go. So all those materials are the same. And then I'm gonna use pick line of pick material to change the materials for the lights. So as you can see, all of them are looking good. Um, the materials here, we need to change so I'm gonna undo that, undo, undo, because this material is set to that. So I'm gonna save it for now. Let's go to our rabbit. We need to change it. I 
I'm gonna pull it up all the way up let's go to our section or our south elevation edit in place edit extrusion we could we need to add it all the way here I'm gonna pull it up as well and then this part edit group we need to pull it up click finish and then here edit type edit group the materials here needs to be the same thing same materials as the background so gulam i'm gonna copy that and then edit group again select this gulam click finish and then finish now it needs to be the same so everything is good save and then we need to go back here right here and then export save as yes and then just go back right here and then go to export and then refresh it as you can see everything is good again um, we just need to add in the neon And then pick material for this and then a different material for the wood so that's looking good right there afterwards let's change the materials for the ground nature so grass something like this grass here this one is already lit up um, we need to change the materials for those this one is for the concrete pavement skillet And then we need asphalt for this asphalt asphalt and then asphalt right here and then we want to make sure that everything is same and then cobblestone here and scale it And then here the materials here we need to make it this one for now but for sure we need to change it we need to change this one for sure so let's just set this one as asphalt for now similar to what we have here so that we just to be consistent and we don't need to see the the one in the inside anyway so let's leave that for now this one needs to be the same materials as the aluminum so we're going to just set this one so that it's easier and then asphalt right here okay 
so now everything looks good right there we set up the materials easily because there's not a lot we could add in some trees to increase the to make it look nicer I want to add this one green palm and then some of the So once everything is downloaded, we'll be able to just add them. So you can just click here and then we'll be able to add the object. I want to try this one as well. This one I want to add it somewhere here small enough and then we have those coconut tree that I want to add as well I want to add this right here and then let's add another one to this side add something small so I'm gonna do some bushes similar to this I want to add around here and also around here something like this right here I want to make this size smaller and this one bigger and then of course we're going to add more of the background like that and then here as well
so we have that and then some vegetation some miscellaneous I want some ivy here to repeat this one eighty degrees and then just add it something like that. I want to size it a little bit more. Something like that. And then of course grass we're gonna add some grass okay so we're gonna use populate place and then I'm gonna do scatter go here grass I want long grass I want some clovers and weeds and then some wild grass I want all of them and then just add it okay just add it into here So with that, um, we can also do the scatter here. I'm going to remove the ones right here. It's because I want to have a refined one here on this side. So I'm just going to do a lawn. So populate again lawn select that stripe main and then just select it here so sometimes even this one is the best because it doesn't populate that great here So I'm just gonna do this. I'm still gonna try the lawn, even though it's not that perfect. I want to see if uh, we can increase doesn't provide too much of those it doesn't cover too much so I'm just going to add more lawn and see how this one will affect there we go so you need to add multiple lawns in order for this one to work okay and then let's just leave this one because that one is the one that is for there uh, if 
we add more, we can see how this one play out a lot. I want it to be really populated, so that's why I'm adding more. But the lawn part now is much better than expected. So given that, I think that's the best course to do. So we have this one that is on this side, and then now everything is looking good. We just need to make this one smaller. So it doesn't show. There we go. So we're going to stop here for now. Continue on the next video. Thank you for watching and I hope you liked the video. Please hit like and subscribe. Feel free to comment down below.